Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates, and today, let's get right into it. So if you're here on my channel, then you must know that I am a huge, huge fan of Versace. Versace is my favorite brand. I am part Greek, so Medusa is really, really spiritual to me, and she has a lot of meaning, and I'm very, very connected to my Greek mythology side. So Medusa and Versace is just like 100% up my alley, but Versace is actually in the middle of having a sale, and I did get some sale items right here, which I'm really, really excited about. But in this video, I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about like the underwear from Versace, and is designer underwear really worth it, or is it not? I do have a video where I discuss my Versace thong, and I do do a close-up on it. However, that video is really, really popular with over 25,000 views, and that is absolutely insane. So clearly everybody here loves the Versace underwear, and after having some Calvin Klein's in this color, I really wanted to go ahead, get a brand new color that usually I would never wear and do, but they're so cute. And you know, we're gonna go ahead, take a close-up of the underwear, and really just see is design your underwear worth it or not. So in the box, I did get the cutest color, and these are actually gonna be this like, teal light blue i'm not exactly too sure what to call this color but it is light blue to me and it does have like the gold waistband on it of course for the packaging it is always super sexy on the back absolutely love that and when it comes to this i did get two pairs because especially for the price usually one of these is like 80 dollars but the sales price was actually only $35. So I pretty much got two for the price of one. So that was a great deal. Taking these fresh out of the box, you can see that these are just so cute. Now, of course they are wrinkled because they are brand new. However, they are just so cute. Now it does have the Greco border on the waistband and on the back, it's nice, simple and plain. With the front, it does have the Medusa in the center. The Medusa is really cool, really detailed when you look really closely to it. And I'm sure it's gonna show so good when you do try them on. So these are gonna be so cool to wear. For the size of the boxers, they are a size three. It is the smallest size in the boxers and it's personally what does fit me best. And for the waistband, it will be 13 and a half inches going across. Now, of course, you know, I do have a bunch of black Versace boxers, absolutely so cute. Both of these are the size long trunks. So they have short trunks and they have long trunks always go for the long trunks because you will have a lot more room for your boys over here. And the thing about this is the sizes are not too tight and right here does have some stretch to it. So this, it, I never have a problem with this. Everything does fit perfectly inside and it's not too tight, not too small. You don't go numb during the day. So this is totally really approved by me. Now these are both in the long pair, like I said, so they are the same length. But this one, you know, of course, you know, it has been used and this one is brand new. So this one hasn't been shrunken at all. I do personally just throw these in the washer. I used to hand wash them when I first got them, like when it was my very first pair. But then I just kind of started throwing them in the washer and dryer and they were totally fine. You just have to be a little gentle with them. Definitely recommend washing them on gentle. But these are so cute and I really do love the pair. Now I do have a short pair from Belmont and these would be relatable to the short ones from Versace. So on the website, these are definitely considered the long trunks where these ones are just considered the normal trunks. And you can see that it will be about an inch and a half difference on the legs and in the center. Now it's a little different for the Belmont ones because the Belmont pair, these are really, really stretchy. So these are meant to stretch a lot where the Versace ones aren't meant to stretch that much. So this one, it does have stretch in the center. I never have a problem with it. I would recommend it for everybody. But if you do get the short pair from Versace, you will definitely kind of die in here a little bit. You won't have enough room. It will be a little tight. And the thing, even with the Belmont ones, since this does stretch, I have plenty of room so I don't suffer here. But the sides right here, they always ride up because they are so short. But definitely keep that in mind that the Versace ones, if it is short, they will ride up and there's just not that much of a stretch for the Versace short pair. So definitely recommend the long pair. Now comparing it to the Versace thong, definitely a huge difference. Once again, the thong is in a size three. However, there is just so little room in this. This one, I never really wear it, and if I do, it is like death, and I am numb within like minutes. And if you're numb, you do forget, but it is such a struggle. Now, the thong, I don't really recommend it unless the space works for you. 
But to be honest, the space really just does not work for me because there is no stretch in this. So the thong is kind of very iffy, but the boxer is 100% enough room and enough fabric. This one definitely does need a lot more fabric to cover because when you do wear the thong, you do have a lot showing on the sides of it compared to the boxers where there is just totally enough fabric. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I did fall in love with a pair of Calvin Klein's in like the same color. And I didn't think the color would look good on me, but then I tried it on and it looked so cute. So it totally made me fall in love with that color again, so I totally had to get a pair of Versace ones. Now you may remember that I do have a video about my Versace swim shorts as well, it would be linked right above here. However, these are also a size 3, and having the Versace boxers peek out of shorts, it's just always so cute and so cool. So honestly, for both of these products, I do recommend them, and in both of these, I would be a size 3. Now since I do have a lot of pair from Versace, obviously I would totally recommend these. Once again, I do have a thong video, so I definitely recommend checking that out. I love the Versace pairs so much. I'm going to collect so much more. The blue one over here is definitely my favorite because I love the print on it. It's so cool. And I actually do have a sweater that actually does match, so it's so perfect. But these ones, you know, 100% recommend and I definitely love the Versace ones. And I honestly think everybody does need a pair of Versace underwear, to be honest. The only bad thing I will say about them is the tag that comes in the back. This is so long and just totally unnecessary. I don't know who wants that going in their butt all day, but you know, I always, always cut these off. So first thing I do is, you know, I inspect, I make sure like all the stitching is okay. That way I'm not gonna have a problem because obviously underwear, you can't return if it's damaged and stuff like that. You can exchange it if it's brand new for a newer pair, of course. But if you, once you wear it and open it and stuff like that, you know, there's no returning it. So definitely make sure that you do approve it before you wear them and try them on. But honestly, I love these. So personally, I am not a muscle man. So of course, you know, I do have my t-shirt on. However, the long boxers are really, really cute because they do hang to like about here. So you do have plenty of room. Now for me, because there's total enough fabric in the middle, like no worry, it does have complete amount of like stretch and everything. So that is totally doable. But because of these, I do even like to cuff them up. And that way, you know, when I put my jeans on, they're a lot just like smoother and better. And then like the way they fit, everything's just like up front and in place. So that is a really cool fact. And with this, this would be like getting a short pair compared to the long pair. So that would be like the difference. But having this one, the long pair, I definitely recommend it because even if you do want to cuff them and have more support in the middle, you can totally do that with the long ones versus the short ones. There's just a lack of fabric. So what you see is what you get. It will be tight, but the long ones is honestly the best of both worlds. And to be honest, they're just also so cool because I just love Versace and the prints and everything. So, you know, with the socks, with the waistband and the white shirt, it's just such a cute outfit altogether. And I think shopping luxury undergarments is 100% worth it because it just feels so cool and yes. But I do kind of feel like Tom Cruise because you know, the white socks and the white shirt. So, you know, it's kind of cool. With jeans on, these are so cool because again, you know, you do see the waistband. <laughs> the waistband, I really, really do love it. You really can't go wrong with the waist. And it's just so cool and so cute. I am just so obsessed with these. So, you know, just having these just like walk around either shirtless or even just having it like peek through your white t-shirt, it's just so amazingly cute. So for Sachi boxers, would I recommend them? Yes, of course. They're just so amazingly cute. And again, the Medusa right here is honestly everything. Speaking of the blue ones, these are the original Calvin Klein's that I did fall in love with. And I was like, there's no way this color is gonna look good on me. It's gonna like wash out and I'm just not gonna look great in it. But I think it's so cute. And when I first had these, I was like, okay, this color 100%, yes, I shall get more of these. So I did grab a lot of pairs, honestly, but these are so cute. And because of this, I'm so happy because it totally made me get the Versace ones and I love the Versace. So immediately with the Belmont pair that I am not wearing, these would be considered like the short Versace ones. And you can see there is so much little fabric to this. 
like just pulling it down there's just not enough this rides up like this 100% right away as soon as you put it on but the thing with these is the Belmont ones these have a lot of stretch to them so you can definitely get all the stretch that you do need which does support the middle section absolutely greatly so with the Belmont one it is a little bit of an exception because of the stretch but I've only really witnessed Belmont having the stretch when it comes to Kelvin's, Versace, and even Cavalli, they don't have stretch to them. So Belmont, yes, I would approve even for the short ones, because the Versace ones, longer ones, they would be like down to here, but I still approve them. And this is what I mean by it doesn't even have to be Versace underwear, it could be Belmont or any designer, but having the waistband stick out with that logo name is just such a subtle oomph to your outfit, and it's just so cute. So honestly, I 100% recommend luxury boxers in general, underwear, boxers, thong, whatever you would like. I would totally recommend them. Now the Kafali pair, these are my very first pair of luxury underwear, but they are so, so short. It's just like all of the other short pairs with no stretch. So immediately everything just hangs out of the sides and out of the legs. Right now I have everything placed to where I cannot move but everything just does not want to stay in at all. So these ones, they have such a lack of space, so I would not recommend these ones at all because, you know, you'll definitely have a lot of slips with this. So now I do have the infamous thong that had like over 28,000 views and that totally like drove me wild and crazy, but I never did a try on of it. And still like, I'm trying to debate this, but I'm actually at a point where I cannot move because there will totally be a lot of slips. So when it comes to this, you know, like they are cute. They're very cute, especially when I put on my jeans, I'll pull them up. But again, I cannot risk touching anything at the moment. But these are so tight. I'm already going numb and I literally like just put them on. If I was to turn to the side, you would have a whole lot showing on the side. Like the side will not actually touch on your skin. So, you know, there's just like a lot of like airspace in here, just a lot of room because, you know, the fabric doesn't touch it. But these are really, really cute and I do recommend these for sure. However, it really just takes a specific person. And when it comes to this, the middle part right here, I actually just take it and put it all right here. And I really just use it just to have it sticking out of my pants because out of the like waistband, it does look really, really cute. But again, having your boys actually in this will 100% suffocate you. So when it comes to the thong, I really do love it when the jeans are on because what I specifically do is I don't put anything on the actual inside. I just move the middle part over to where everything is just hanging here and then the middle of the actual fabric of the thong is just hanging right here on the side coming this way. And that really lets you put it all the way up here and really make like the cutest moment out of it. You know, you can show your stomach, you can show your hips and your waist. So this one, I really do approve this. It's just you can't actually put your boys in it. Otherwise, you know, it's like death. But you know, this is really, really cute nonetheless. And I think this is like amazing with like a crop top jacket. It would look so cute in shorts and a crop top jacket. And we are totally ready to go. And I have to mention that even like the curve this gives you because it really like sucks you in on the sides. It's just so cute and I love honestly wearing this just to wear it and it's just so cute. I love it. You know, it's your total like early 2000s moments and I am all for it, especially when you do have like a white t-shirt on. It always shows through. It might not on camera, but in person, especially in the sun, you can always see it just like sticking out subtly. So it's like, oh, how cute is that? And then it makes everybody wonder, they're like, is that Versace? What is it? So unfortunately, I am just wearing this gray sweater because I did forget my super cute Versace plaid sweater, which I will have on the screen that does go with these boxers. I was supposed to wear them at the same time so you can see how cute that they would match. But I think you can kind of get the same idea just having it on camera on the screen. 
But this was so, so cute. And the thing about the sweater is the sweater is extra big and long. So the sweater like hangs down like here and it's just like such a cute vibe and it is a turtleneck. So with this pair of underwear, it honestly looks so cute together. I can't believe I almost forgot to try these ones on for you guys because these are the classic Versace boxers. Those so black and gold, so cute with the Medusa and the Grecker border on the waistband. Always, always so cute. You can't go wrong with them. Now, these are the classic pair. So these are so cute, especially with them peeking up over your jeans. So with it poking out of your jeans, of course, it's just so cute with the cute little Medusa right there. And I really do love it. I think it's just so, so perfect. And in all honesty, you know, like what better pair of boxers can you have? than Versace and the Greco print border. To me, it's just so, it is a little sexual, but it's just so perfect. And it's just like, voila. It's just so great. A thousand times recommend these. However, when it comes to Versace, I have to say that I've been shopping at like Louis Vuitton and some other stores recently. And Versace, their clothing, their bags, honestly, the best quality that I have experienced. I like the Versace quality better than the Chanel quality in all honesty. I like it better than the Hermes clothing. And I've tried a few Hermes clothing pieces before. Nothing really too special about it. You can get the same quality at Versace for such a much less price. So I really do love Versace for the price points and the quality. It's really the best of like all of the worlds combined. So Versace, totally recommend it. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you thought about this video. I know some people think it's like cool. Some people, like one of my friends here on YouTube, they do think it's really, really unnecessary to show underwear on camera. And she's always like, not my undergarments. But you know, I love her anyway, and she probably knows exactly who she is. But you know, especially I think when it comes to being a guy as well, I think underwear is really important for a guy because it's not, it's not talked about a lot. You know, guys, when it comes to women, you know, women have different breast sizes and guys have different sizes there. So sometimes an underwear will be too tight or it's too short, so it rides up all the time. And in all honesty, it's like, how do you know, like, if a designer pair is going to be good or not? Because, like I said, I have my Belmont pair and my Belmont pair are short and they are a little tight and stuff like that. But compared to the Versace, Versace is just so great. I love them. I would compare them most to Calvin Klein's. If you can't afford Versace, I think Calvin Klein would be just the same quality in all honesty, but just not cool prints like Versace has. But either way, I do approve these. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and have a great day. Au revoir.